I've been working at WDL for about three years now. I was a specimen processor for two years while I was still in college. And then I got hired as a microbiologist about four months before graduating college. I became interested in medical laboratory science because I always wanted to help people and be a doctor when I was growing up. And then in high school, I realized that I didn't really want to have patient contact. Microbiology is studying microbes that make up the human biome and possible pathogens and diseases that they cause. So when we're looking at bacteria, we look at the morphology, which is like the shape, because when you look at bacteria after it's stained, you can't really see any of the structures that you see inside, like if you were studying an animal cell or a plant cell. I've worked at Wisconsin Diagnostic Labs for seven years as the clinical chemistry and toxicology manager. I've also been a clinical scientist for over 20 years with that experience. So teamwork in a laboratory is one of the highest things that we pride ourselves upon. Teamwork also involves working with other departments. You want to improve a workflow process, but maybe some of your specimen goes to another department. So how do you work with that group to make sure you guys are all on the same page and working together seamlessly to make that a success? My role as a chemistry manager is really to serve the chemistry scientists and technologists. So, they can't do their job if I'm not here doing my job to support them. Making improvements all the time so that we can become better and better every day. We pretty much make everything department ready. So we triage, we receive in, we mainly process. And again, we have to do this accurately to make sure that all these specimens get to the departments on time so we can get results out fast. It is very fast paced. We don't only deal with specimens, but we also deal with patients, doctors, and nurses. The most common specimen is probably blood. Patients can get either one tube of blood. We have some patients get as much as 13, and there are some that we get that's even more than that. Safety in the laboratory is one of our highest priorities. We make sure that we have our lab coats on. We have goggles that we wear. We have our gloves. You have to treat every specimen as if it were something that could harm you. Substances can get into a human body by either ingesting or even through your skin it can come in through there. And we are there to detect them and give the results to the doctor so that you can be treated. In high school, I would take a lot of science-based classes. I recommend biology and chemistry because those are the main ones that are used in medical laboratory science. For after high school, you can get a two-year degree as a medical laboratory technician, which you can get from a technical college, or you can go to a four-year and get a medical laboratory science degree, which is what I have. The pre-analytical department does not require a higher education, and some people may use that as a stepping stone into the other departments that may require a um, bachelor's degree in medical technology. Those in high school, middle school, really do not have the knowledge of the clinical lab profession. It's not a wide known profession. It's not taught through your school counselors. Had I known this earlier, I wish I would have started in the clinical lab when I'd gotten out of high school and been even further along in my career than I am now. In order for us to continue growing, we need to have people interested in the lab career. People get sicker every single day. So we need new people to come in and take care of the ones exiting their career and to keep that cycle going in the laboratory. My favorite part of the job is the critical thinking that it involves, but more importantly is knowing that I have a helping hand in treating our patients every day. My favorite part of the job is definitely being able to help people. We aren't always able to treat the patients, but we are able to give the doctor a better idea of what is going on with the patient. So we may not be able to give antibiotics, but we can always be able to help the patient in some sort of way.